Hi there, my name is Emma Makepeace from A Tribe of Dreamers and welcome to another episode of Bite Size Yoga. In today's episode I'm going to take you through a short um, breathing practice which you can then repeat multiple times, um, as many rounds as you would like to, called Analoma Veloma. So this is a breathing practice that brings lots of heat into the body as well as balancing um, your energy sides of the body, so masculine and feminine, um, rebalancing your chakras. Um, so this is a really great practice to do um, for if you're feeling a little out of balance. Starting first thing in the morning with this um, is really lovely as well. And what you want to do before we begin though is grab some tissues and give your nose a good blow. Um, particularly in, at the moment, it's quite cool where I live. Um, and so, you know, if you've got head colds, things going on, then give your nose a good blow. Um, the other thing to be aware of with this practice is if you are pregnant or have high blood pressure, then doing the retaining of the breath um, is not the safest thing for you. Um, so just to skip that part and go through and do just the inhale and the exhale um, or avoid this practice altogether. So those two things, if you're pregnant or you have high blood pressure, just be aware of that with this practice um, as there is a long retention of the breath um, as part of it. So we will begin. Grab your tissue, give your nose a good, go, good blow, get rid of everything. So I've had a head cold, so that's why this is a really good one to do. And you'll want to keep your tissues handy as well. So just keep those in case you need it later. So what we do is we come into Vishnu Mudra. So Vishnu Mudra, we use the right hand and we bring the forefinger and middle finger and just bend them down. And it's a bit awkward and try and keep the other two fingers extended, they are going to want to try and come down as well. Um, so just keep that nice and relaxed if you can, and the thumb out. And so we bring the hand, just the palm in front of the face, and we begin by closing down on the right side, so breathing in through the left side. And as we breathe, we do this for, um, there's a pattern that we do with the breath. So we inhale for a count of four, we hold the breath for a count of 16, and then we exhale out the opposite side for a count of eight, before inhaling again, holding for 16, exhaling for eight, and that makes one whole round. So once we've done both sides of the nose, and then you can go on and do you know, three rounds, five rounds, 10 rounds, um, however long you would like to do this for. But I find just doing a couple of rounds of this is a really great way to just clear everything, realign. So your other hand can come into chin mudra, just resting on the back of the left leg. Bring the right hand up in front of the body and we begin by just closing down, exhaling completely, close down through the right nostril and inhale for a count of four through the left, three, four, close down and retain the breath, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, exhale through the right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, inhale through the right, two, three, four, Close down the right, retain the breath. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Exhale through the left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And release, inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. 
and give your nose another blow if you need to. So you can do that on repeat as many times as you need to. Um, I'm just showing you the one round and obviously can't close down my nostrils while I'm trying to breathe and speak at the same time. Uh, so, but that just gives you an idea of the practice of analoma veloma. So now that you've done a few rounds of your analoma veloma or alternate nostril practice breathing, um, you may like to find out a bit more about mudras. So this is a fantastic resource that I came across um, a little while ago and has heaps of different mudras and how to practice those. So mudras are the hand um, motions, the hand gestures, and the different um, elements that are incorporated into that and the meanings behind them as well. And so if you're looking to find out a little bit more, cannot recommend this book highly enough. If you want to get a copy, I will pop a link below for where you can grab one um, and find out a bit more about other mudras that you can include into your daily practice as well and the benefits of those. So if you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up or post your comments below. And I look forward to seeing you again next week on Bite Size Yoga.